I was watching this um, YouTube video about women who, you know, have a shelf life. And it was women who were commenting on it and saying, yeah, women have a shelf life. <laughs> and these women were like in their 30s. And it's like mind boggling to me because um, I remember being in my 20s and working with this woman who was like 45 and she was like, girl, I didn't live until I turned 40. Like it was on and popping. I'm talking about sex life, you know, out life, night life, everything. And I started to see like, she was like almost 50 and like she had these dudes like taking her on amazing dates, showing up at airports, dressed as fucking chauffeurs and shit. Like she was pulling up. And she was a hot girl. She had, you know, she had got divorced and she, you know, was living her good, her best life. And I want women to understand and stop watching these shows or these YouTubers, these men who are putting out these, you know, warped um, stories to create these ideas in your head that, hey, if I'm after, if I'm over 35, I can't do it. Like I'm, I'm old and dusty. <laughs> I laugh at this because like, it's funny because I'm over, I'm almost 40 and like the general people, men that I attract are like in their twenties and they think that I'm like 20 something. And I mean, I'm blessed, you know, with good genes and everything else. And I do my best to take the best care of myself that I can. And I'm not trying to look younger. I'm just being me, right? But, um, you know, I still pull them, you know, and that's nothing. And I'm divorced and everything else. And the thing, too, is that women think, oh, you know, I, I haven't had kids and da-da-da. So many women are like, I have to get married to have a, a child. And that's not true. You know, if you have a good man who is a good provider, is a good father, is somebody that, you know, you shouldn't be with somebody who you don't know how they would be as a father. If you're having sex unprotected, if you're, you know, if you're doing things that can create a child, you wanna make sure that this man can be a provider, you know, because, you know, oops, situations do happen, but they're not accidents. They're always a blessing, you know, in disguise. Um, and how you choose to handle that, you know, whether you keep the child or whatever is your choice. But I'm just saying that you don't have to be married to have a child. Like every situation is not like mine, but you know, I was divorced. I was married, waited, waited, waited until I got married to have a child and it didn't work out. And, um, but I still have beautiful blessings, you know, from that. And so, you know, I just encourage women like, hey, if you're young, if you're dating somebody who's serious and, you know, don't worry about the ring. Like that's the dumbest shit. Don't worry about the ring. Just live your life every day with them and see where it goes. And if you want to have children, if they're open to having children, do that. I, I just think that people, I think we should take a different approach to dating, a different approach to how we have relationships and a different approach to how we have children and then a different approach to how we look at women who are over certain ages like this is just like a new phenomena that has just started um from like this whole uh, social media culture and these whack-ass um people on youtube and shit that are creating these narratives that are so toxic i mean i remember growing up you know, i had a single father he dated multiple women and almost all of them had children you know, he helped raise a lot of women's children as we were growing up. And these kids were our sisters and brothers. They were our siblings growing up. It was, it was nothing. It was hella fun. And then he, he did what he could to provide. And the woman did what she did to provide. But there are men out here like that. And I, I just want people to get away from those narratives and then also thinking, okay, well, you know what? I'm at this age, so I have this shelf life and my coochie not going to work and it's going to dry up. No, what you need to do, take it from me. Work out. That's number one, workout. Do a simple 30 minute workout, keep the juices flowing. Two, eat a lot of fruits. And this is so imperative because I have learned through being a vegan um, that fruits are the best cleanser and the best moisturizer of your skin. Um, they're, they just flush your system of toxins and they just um, keep you smelling good. Um, so fresh fruits fresh vegetables. You want to incorporate that into your meal. Leave a lot of the greasy foods. You have to change your diet. What I do notice about a lot of women who are around my age, I see a lot of women who are overweight. They are, have let themselves go. 
and um, you know, they're actually really beautiful, but because their weight is thrown off their looks, you know? So if we were more conscious of how we treated our bodies, then we wouldn't even have to worry about, you know, shelf life and stuff. We'd still be out here looking fucking fabulous. You know what I'm saying? Look at Janet Jackson. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't really watch TV. I don't know how Janet is looking now, but she, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of women out here who are up in age, who are looking fabulous and are living their best lives. Because there are a lot of men out here who are up in age as well, who are looking for women, women their age, who are living their best lives. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop listening to these narratives. They're bullshit. You know, and they're coming from men who and women who are toxic, who have not been through lives and had various experiences like me. I've lived so many lives in my, you know, 39 years on this earth. I've lived so many different lives where I've done so many different things to where I say different lives. It's been like, oh, I have this career. I can retire from this. Oh, I, I'm in the situation. I can live long, you know retire or you know my life into this relationship you know it's been multiple times like that and I've started over and um and so I think too a part of the you know ensuring that you keep your vitality and your health and you know the wealth of your beauty is to ensure that you keep good people around you and if you can't have good people around you to clear that energy from you it's better to be you know alone you know not having a lot of friends not really having a lot of family than being in a toxic environment i remember um being in a very toxic environment like being a part of an association that was very toxic and i came into that association my skin was glowing i was looking good da, da, da. and then i looked at a picture somebody took and I had been with them, like chilling with them, you know, going on little to events. And, but I was eating fried chicken. I was, you know, engaging in their toxic behaviors, gossiping and stuff like that. I was, you know, engaging in it because I was a part of it. And I looked at a picture and my skin looked bumpy. It looked greasy. It looked like bad. I was like, oh, hey, she's like, what's good? But I, when I got out of that organization, I, I noticed that, you know, things kind of reverted back to how they should be. So anyway, that's just my thing, you know what I'm saying? This is what I was talking about to y'all tonight because I saw that shit and I was like, come on now, come on now. That's not true. Like, let's, let's get real with each other. Everybody's going to age. Stop acting like aging is a bad thing. Aging is a beautiful thing. A beautiful thing. A beautiful thing.